Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Solution to the problem. We have um, 2 over x multiplied by 2 over x. This is equal to x over 2. Now, the first step we are going to take is to multiply the left hand side so that we can have 4 okay it's going to be 4 over x squared which will be equal to x over 2 okay and then we're having 4 over x squared equal equal to x over 2 meaning that we can find the lcm of both sides right or better still, bring everything to the left. So that if we do that, we're going to have 4 over x squared minus x over 2 equal to 0. Okay, so if this is the case, then I need to find the LCM. The LCM now is going to be 2 multiplied by x squared. And that is 2x squared. Now multiply the LCM by the terms we have in there. So it's going to be 2x squared multiplied by 4 over x squared. And then I have um, closest bracket minus 2x squared multiplied by x over 2. And this will be equal to 2x squared multiplied by 0. Although it will still give us some um, 0 x squared will cancel itself from here so i have 2 times 4 which will give us 8 then minus 2 will cancel itself from here and we have x squared times x and that will give us some um, okay so this is going to give us some um, x to the power of 3 which will be equal to 2 x squared times 0 is 0 everything is equal to 0 right Okay, so we take a step further so that we have, um, okay, so the next step we are going to take is to write this 8 in index form. So we have 2 to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 3 equal to 0. But then, let's apply a rule right now. If you have a squared, okay, a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. Now, if you expand this, this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. Close your bracket. Now, we are going to use this same principle to solve this problem now. And according to this problem, our a is 2. So I'm going to have 2 minus x for a minus b. 2 minus x will be in this bracket. And then I'll move to the other bracket. And then I'm going to have a squared now becomes 2 squared. Plus ab becomes 2 times x. And that will be 2x. Then plus b squared is now x squared. Right? Close this. And the whole of this will be equal to 0. Now we can apply zero product rule that says it is either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. And sometimes both of them can be equal to 0. Right? So if you are going to deal with this first, then 2 minus x will be equal to 0. Or what we have in there, which is, okay, we have 2 squared, that will give us 4 then plus 2x then plus x squared equal to 0 from this side we can say that um, 2 is equal to x i meaning that x is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 rather okay we can just turn it around and x comes here, 2 goes there. So we have that x is equal to 2. This is one of the values of x that will satisfy the given equation. Now, 
to the quadratic um, equation there. Now I want to rearrange this so that I can have um, x squared first plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this equation using formula method. And according to the formula, we are going to have a that stands for the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. We have b that stands for the coefficient of x, which is 2. And then we have c that stands for the constant, and it is plus 4. Now, what is the formula? This is the formula. We have um, x equal to negative b, positive or negative. We have square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. And now we have all that we need. So let's go. We have x to be equal to minus b becomes minus 2, positive or negative. Okay, so b squared now is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times um, c is 4 times 4 because we have a to be 1 and c to be 4 the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 because a is 1 now let's take a step further so that x will be equal to minus 2 positive or negative okay so we have 2 squared which is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 will give us 16 and the whole of this is over 2 okay so from here x will be equal to so we have minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 16 is going to give us minus 12 and the whole of this is over 2. Now let's take a step forward. Our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. This is the same thing as square root of 12 multiplied by square root of minus 1. Because of the negative there. And the whole of this is over 2. We'll take a step forward again. So I have x to be equal to minus 2, positive or negative. Now, this 12 is the same thing as 4 times 2. And then I have times the square root of minus 1 will give us i. Okay, so we have i. And then the whole of this is over 2, right? Okay, by the way, 12 is 4 times 3, so this should be 3. 4 times 3. Now, if we take a step forward, x will be equal to minus 2, positive or negative. Square root of 4 is 2. Then I have root 3. And then I multiply this by the i. Then I have over 2. Now, the next thing I can do is to factor out, I can factor out 2 because it's common to this 2. So if I factor 2 out, then I'm going to have x to be equal to, okay, we're going to have um, 2 outside, then into bracket here we'll have minus 1 left, plus or minus, this 2 has already come out, so I'll have 3i. Close this. I remember this is still over 2. And from here now, this can cancel this. So that our x will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3i. And what does this mean? It means that x is either equal to minus 1 plus or negative Okay, I will use one of it now, minus 1 plus square root of 3i, or x is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3i. 
So now I want to bring the three solutions together. I will call the first one x1 and it is equal to what? 2. And then the second solution, I'll call it x2 and it will be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3i. Then the third solution, I call it x3 and it's equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3i. So these are the three solutions that will satisfy the given equation. Although the only real solution there is 2. Thank you for watching.